I've, I've seen you interview before and I know that you auditioned for Prince's band when Prince sort of starts his solo career. But can you fill in the, the, the gap of sort of, was that the first time you'd ever come across Prince or any of the, oh, you know, no, the, the been, people around Prince? He'd been coming in for years when he was in high school. He had a big afro and he'd come in with his first uh, manager with his friends and he would play. I remember once he came in and he had a guitar on and he tapped a melody on with his left hand and played a harmony on a synthesizer at the same time. And, and everybody knew that he was very good, uh, you know, but back then uh, the uh, black musicians, they, there was quite a bit of prejudice. They didn't play, you didn't see them in the mainstream white clubs. They all played on clubs on the north side of Minneapolis, kind of like in Chicago, they got the south side blues, you know, it was the, the north side. And, uh, but after that first album, I don't think it was a huge success, but we all knew that he was very talented and probably would go somewhere. So every guitar player in town just about wanted to try out, you know, for this thing that looked like it really was going to go somewhere because he was on a major label, Warner Brothers. Mm, and yeah. uh, it looked like, you know, he had a, a career, so everybody tried out, you know. 